Checking back in with the Black and Gold Network this week with the baseball team. We are here with senior Alex Erdman. Alex, let's talk a little bit. Finally got a chance to play at home. You guys play five games in five days and just end up with five wins. Yeah, it's been great to um, kind of get off the bus a little bit, um, have a few few home games, sleep in our own beds. It's been pretty fun. Um, getting a lot of wins, too. It's been great. So first of all, I'll talk about the real quickly about the game at Miller Park. As a senior, it's your last chance to play there. How big of a deal is that game for you guys? Um, it's a pretty big deal. Uh, we had a lot of fans there, which was nice. Um, a lot of the the Green Gull alumni were there. That was cool. Um, it's just it's always fun to play there because I mean it's a better surface than we're used to playing on, and uh, get a get a bigger crowd, which is cool too. So you're playing really well now. You guys uh, kind of improved on your hold on first place in the Horizon League with the sweep of the Flames. Mm -hmm. However, we didn't do that without any drama there. And on Sunday, uh, comfortable five-two lead. You get called on bases loaded. Was I believe it was nobody out when you get, when you came into the game? Mm -hmm. uh, can you run us through uh, those those last couple outs when you were on the mound there? Uh, well, it didn't start very well. I hit the first guy, and then uh, I don't really know how we got the first out. Ground out. <laughs> Ground out. Um, and then. Uh, Went 3-1 on the on Betcher, the third baseman. Uh, jammed him. Paco made a great play in foul territory through through home. Uh, made a great throw and a base running error, I guess, um, cost UIC. And that was the end. There you go. So let's talk a little bit about your pitching. Um, obviously, you pitched in high school. Mm -hmm. But if you uh, very successful last year, the first time you were kind of around the mound here as a Panther, I can run through a two and one with four saves in 25 games, 25 innings pitched, 23 strikeouts, five walks, just 16 hits allowed. First of all, run us through how that even you know became part of your uh, of what you were going to do here as a Panther, and and how just how you're so successful at it. Um, when Corey and Scotty recruited me, they actually talked about me being a two way player, and it didn't really happen until last year. Um, they wanted to try try and see if I could drop down and maybe get some people out. And I worked pretty well last year, and this year I haven't really gotten a chance to pitch as much, which is okay, I guess. We've been winning a lot of games without it, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I just try, kind of try to go out there and uh, throw strikes and see what happens. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Speaking of going out there, you've had a chance to get out there quite a bit now more as a senior. A couple of injuries have led to you playing quite a bit more in the field. Um, how have you been able to, you know, that's obviously a welcome uh, addition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great to be out there every day. Um, it's a little different trying to keep your body in shape when you're playing every day. Um, that's been the biggest challenge is not being sore and slow every day. Um, yeah, but it's it's great um, being out there. <laughs> So you were a redshirt freshman in 2009. In 2010, your first year of playing, we went to the NCAA tournament. And now here you are as a senior in 2013. You know, obviously you guys hope to, to go out with another NCAA tournament appearance here as a senior. Yeah, hopefully we can keep getting Ws and keep playing well. And hopefully we'll cap uh, their seniors last year off with a regional appearance. Sounds good. Well, thanks for your time uh, today. And then good luck with another, what, six games in six yeah. days this week. It'll be fun. Thank you.